I'm here at Command Fest Melbourne, which Good Games is hosting and putting on. It's a huge tournament or a huge event for Magic the Gathering's Commander format, amongst other things. I'm here with Glenn from Good Games, the tournament organizer. Glenn, thanks for joining us. Thanks very much and welcome along, Liam. Uh, yeah, we have Command Fest today, which is great. We ran it last year in Sydney, here in Melbourne this year. Um, it's pretty exciting, as you see in the background. Lots of players having fun playing Commander. So what actually, so obviously people are playing Commander, but what actually is this weekend? What's happening? Why should people get excited by it? Well, I think it's a celebration of the game. A lot of people play Commander. It's a non-competitive format, so you know we're, we're, we're um, trying to expand on that each year. Uh, as well as that, the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set has just been released. So there's a lot of connection to that this weekend, and we're running some special uh, in-game activities for Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth things. Do you think the fact that Commander is a very social format, it's still competitive, but the social element is really important, lends itself to an event like this? Absolutely. Like, I think most of the people here, and, you know, most people in general have a, a way they like playing Magic, and uh, Commander is certainly a, a great social thing that gathers people together for this. That's what it's about, right? It's Magic the Gathering. So here we are, and uh, we're all together playing this, and, yeah, everybody loves it. It's great. Now, Good Games also hosts another tournament series. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I can. Uh, I'm in charge of running the ANZ Super Series, which is uh, the competitive pathways uh, for Magic players in Australia and New Zealand to go to the Pro Tour and World Championships. So we've just completed the first uh, season or year, if you like, of that. We've run three cycle events. Uh, we're sending three players to the World Championships uh, later in the year. Uh, and also we've sent, uh, what is it now, uh, 36 players to the Pro Tour, which is pretty exciting. And from there, players can, you know, they're on the gravy train then. They can win uh, large amounts of prize money and make people famous. So I guess having an event like this, with, which highlighted the commander and the social aspect of uh, Magic, but also the Super Series, which is sort of cutting edge competitive tournament, sort of shows the range of breadth of Magic. That must be pretty exciting to sort of be able to cater to a range of Magic players. Yeah, ab absolutely. Look, I, I love doing this stuff. It's really great. And our company loves doing it as well. Um, you know, we're very happy just to try and put on events for everybody. Um, and, and these two events like Command Fest and the um, ANZ Super Series are a great way of doing that. And we'll look to uh, do other things in the future if we can. So today, obviously people are playing Commander, there's different side events, so there's prizes to be won, but there's also, you've also got a special guest here. We do. We are luckily enough to, lucky enough to have uh, RK Post here. Yeah, I'm sure the people out there will know RK from his art on Magic and other games and things. Uh, RK is a great guy, uh, he's very open to coming and visiting us in Australia here, so I think this is the start of it. We will now start looking at bringing other artists along for other events and things, so we're very happy to have RK here. Glenn, thank you very much for running us through what's happened this weekend and the other stuff that Good Games puts on. Thanks very much, uh, thanks for having me on, and it's great to be here, and I hope you guys enjoy the day too. I am here with RK Post, a Magic the Gathering artist extraordinaire. How are you going? I'm going. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you enjoying the sights <laughs> of the Coburg Town Hall? It, it's amazing, actually. It's um, an interesting piece of architecture. I feel like I'm being viewed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's actually are, like a lot of stadium yeah, seating. There's, there's an auditorium up above there and, and, a, and a stage right here, and I'm, I'm right in front of it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. What is the process of creating art for Magic the Gathering cards? How does it all work? Oh, uh, short, easy answer is an art director will contact you and say, are you available? We have this set coming up. And then you would say yes, no. And then the flow chart would go further down if you said yes. Uh, and then you would get uh, an art description with an art Bible that you can refer to if something in your card request asks for something that is referenced. Uh, you submit a sketch, it gets approved, or changes are made, and then from there you do a final piece of art and submit it. What are your thoughts on the potential for AI in this space? And if that's too big a question, you can just blink twice and we won't. Um, <laughs> that is a very complicated question, but I, I don't see wizards going to AI art anytime soon. Um, the legal complications with AI art, I think, are immense enough to stay away. Do you have a favorite card that you've made or a card that has particular sentimental value to you? Yeah. Um, it's on my banner, which you can't see. It's on mask. Oh, nice. Yeah, that thing. I don't Beautiful. look at it in a place that's not on camera, sorry. Why? 
why? Um, uh, there's a good little bit of history with that one. So um, when I got the card assignment, um, I, I looked at it and I had a vision in my head of kind of what I wanted to do with it. And that thing actually came the closest and maybe went a little beyond what I sort of expected. There's a lot of them, you, you have this notion and you, you do it and and then it comes out like crap when you're <laughs> or at least you're not happy with it and you need to step away and then you come back to it later. And it's like, oh, it wasn't that bad, but you know. Yeah, that one I can always look and I go, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with that one. And um, there's other little fun things about that piece of art that, you know, I could, I could go on and on about, but. Please do. <laughs> Uh, it was nominated for a Chesley Award, which is kind of cool. Congratulations. Oh, that was a long time ago, but thank you. Look out. Um, and um, it's, it's a very playable card, which is good. Uh, it was also, you know, sort of part of the storyline. So it's a story element in Mercadian Mass, which is cool. And um, one, so uh, do you know the TV show Firefly? Do I know? Yes, I, I know. don't know. I don't Firefly know. is an incredible show. Yeah, that's true. But okay. no, amazing show. So um, I was at Dragon Con in Atlanta one year, and a woman walks up to me, and she saw the banner. And she goes, "Did you paint that?" I go, "Yeah." She goes, "Oh, I was a costume designer for the the show Firefly, and it was one of Anara's costumes." Hot oh, damn! It was. It was. You Google it, you can find it. Yeah. And she used it almost verbatim. That's incredible. That's crazy. I didn't know about it until I watched the show and I missed it. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. That, that's your biggest claim to fame. You can, so. you can be done now. That's amazing. Well uh, done. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. That's all I got. Oh, cool. So where can people find your art and buy it if they can't make it to an event? Uh, I have a website. Ooh. What? RK Post. Yeah, I know. RKPost.net. That's it. You can find all the information, all my socials and all that garbage is on there too. Awesome. Well. Yeah. Go visit their website. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure. And good luck with the rest of the show. Uh, thanks. And that was to Manfest Melbourne 2023. Alice, you got to meet Arcade Post and you'd met him before. Uh, what was it like catching up with him? Yeah, it was great. Uh, neither of us really remembered the other one. And I think that was beautiful because we got to really like re-know each other in a different way. It was, it was great. And Command is always a lot of fun, especially when they add Lord of the Rings to it. So excited for their next one. Absolutely. Uh, Commander is always great. Play more Commander. Yes.